Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our midweek worship service. My name is BJ, and I am one of the leaders here in Victory Quezon Avenue. Kamusta po kayong lahat? Kamusta po so far yung linggo ninyo? And why don't you share yung service po natin tonight? Uh, invite your family, your friends, your your loved ones. Just uh, click the share button, or you can also type their names sa comment section po natin. All right. So good evening po sa mga lahat namin na kasama. Uh, we have Elma Moreno, uh, VV Quintero, Jap Sanchez, Ina Agustin, and also Ma'am Claudine Valdelion, Mia, good evening po sa inyong lahat. And before we jump in to our worship tonight, we will take this time to pray for specifically for let's ask God for healing. Alam naman po natin, di ba? Uh, because of the surge has been happening with the Omicron, sinasabayan din po dahil sa sinasa, sumasabay din po rather yung lamig ng panahon. That's why may mga kakilala po tayo na sinisipon at inuubo. And maybe you know someone. Why don't you share it to us in our comment section or eh, kung hindi man po like that or robo, kung ano man yan. Maybe you're bat- uh, a friend of yours, kakilala mo, is battling something, uh, a disease or a sickness. It could be a cancer or it could be any disease na alam mo. Why don't you post that on our comment section and we will take time to pray for that specific person. Okay? So, so far, uh, I will be waiting for your... Uh, for the things that you want to be prayed for sa comment section and right after that you will just spend time in prayer as we will begin our worship tonight okay so pastor jerome good evening din sa iyo ayan si pastor jerome ngayon uh, nag-post na sa comment section natin and we have tita des uh nag-post siya sabi nga healing for all those affected by the virus yeah Yes, uh, Tita Des, maraming maraming salamat po. Uh, and also healing for Ati Rosita Logroño, I hope it, Agulto, and sa buong family niya. Thank you, Tita Des, for sharing it to us. And I know, siguro may makakakilala pa kayo, si Miss Ina. Uh, she posted praying for healing to Don Del Rosario at sa sister niya. Na ngayon ay merong sakit with colds and fever. So I think uh, we will start to pray now. Lord, maraming maraming salamat po sa gamit ito. Maraming maraming salamat sa araw kung saan you've been with us, protecting us, providing us, Lord, uh, the things that we need and especially the good health, Father, uh, in facing the day the, in the day's challenges, their God, lalot na may uh, variant na nasa labas Lord God, the Omicron that is trying to uh, cause some how Lord God uh, sickness and diseases sa, sa mga tao and Lord we want to take this time right now to to pray for for the things Lord God that was shared to us by Tita Des and Miss Ina Lord it is your will for your people to get healed so Father we are claiming that Lord uh, we are asking for your miraculous healing to be upon these people Lord God not just to them, Lord, but for for everyone who is who are in need of healing right now, Lord. We are rebuking any presence of the virus in their bodies. O hindi ba, Lord, uh, yung virus yung ang hinaharap nila, maybe they are battling with uh, certain sickness or diseases, Lord God. I pray, Father, that you will be the one who will restore their joy and give them the confidence and the hope to move forward, Lord God, to face it. To fight it, Lord God, knowing that your presence is always with us. So, Panginoon, we are claiming, Lord God, also provision from me, Lord God, in purchasing all the, the, the medicines that is needed, Father, and even the lab test, Lord God. Lahat, lahat po, Panginoon. We are claiming, Father, a complete healing for our brothers and our sisters, Lord. Thank you, Father, that we can always run to you and we can always ask Thank you, Father. And Lord, and as, we, as we worship tonight, we ask, Father, let prepare our hearts, our mind, Father, 
and let your presence be with us. Lead us, O Lord. Let your Holy Spirit guide us. I pray, Lord, that yes, we do have plans that we have set, especially at the start of this year. Even sa pagtapos ng prayer fasting, we had everything laid out to you, Lord. We have surrendered everything to you. And we commit it, everything to you, Father. Let our heart be always, and let our ear always be sensitive to your leading, Lord God. And let our heart always seek you in every day of our lives, Lord. Maraming, maraming salamat po. And as we worship you tonight, I pray that our, that the, let our hearts sing out, Lord, praises of your goodness and your faithfulness in our life. Maraming, maraming salamat, Panginoon. This I ask in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. So church, let's all gather to worship our God.
condemnation. Thank you that you breathe new life in us. So we are forever grateful, Father, for what Jesus Christ did for each one of us. That through Him, we have received a life, a life that is full of hope, a life that is, that is experiencing our God, 
your love to us and a life, Father, that is a victorious one because of Jesus Christ. And Lord, maybe some of us right now are having difficulty, Lord God, in maybe in worshiping you, in spending time in prayer with you because of the challenges or because of the problems that we have about ang bawat isa. Maybe these things, Lord God, or maybe this problem, Lord God, that in a harap nila is dropping their joy, taking a hold in their life, letting the enemy spread lies in their mind, Lord. I pray, Father, that may you give each one of them, Lord God, a fresh revelation from you. Speak to them right now, Father. I pray, Lord God, that let your word will stand firm in their life. Remind them, Father, kung sino po ang nagbigay ng buhay sa kanila. Let them remind who is the one that is in control right now. I pray, my brothers and sisters, I rebuke, Lord God, any lies of the enemy that is putting a, a hold in their life. I pray that you will break that right now in the name of Jesus. Speak to them, Lord. Remind them that as your son and daughter, Lord, you have a plan for each one of us. A plan to prosper us, not to harm us. A plan to give us a hope and a future. So, Lord, thank you. We are forever grateful for what you've done for all of us. Lord, bless our time in worship. Bless us, Father. We love you. This I ask. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Church, welcome once again. Welcome to Victory, where we exist to honor God and make disciples. Did you have a wonderful time worshiping God? I mean, that song, Brave, it really speaks a lot, di ba? Di mo mapigilan just to close your eyes and just worship God. Amen? And as a church, it is really our heart. It is our heart to continue to anchor our faith and our devotion to God. Not just every worship service na meron tayo, but it, but it should be every day of our lives. That's why yesterday, kung nakapanood po kayo, we launched our TED it's a Tuesday evening devotion. Ito po yung dating schedule natin tuwing Saturday. But this, uh, starting January this year, uh, na-move po natin, and that is every Tuesday at 6 p.m. And we hope that through this, we will be, all of us, we grow closer to God, and we can devote time. Uh, kasama po yung mga families natin, yung mga friends natin, o yung mga kasama natin sa small group to hear God's word at the same time. We worship Him through singing songs. Amen? So, wag po kalimutan, every Tuesday at 6 p.m., it is our TED Tuesday evening devotion. Alright? And as we continue to worship God tonight, we will worship Him through our giving. And for our tithes and offering, let me read to you Matthew chapter 6, verses 33 to 34. The scripture says, But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. God knows everything. Amen po ba? Even before we ask, alam na po ni God kung ano po yung mga kailangan natin. But one of the many ways for God to bless us is that tayo po on our end, He wants us to seek Him. To seek His will and His righteousness. Alam na po natin, as sons or as children of God, we have a covenant relationship with Him. That is because through His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. That's why in His kingdom, 
we can freely ask for God, His will and His righteousness be in our life. And as we give our tithes and offering tonight, let us remember that our giving, it is a way of acknowledging God, His will, and His righteousness to be done in our lives. Therefore, we can be secured na alam po natin na we're not just part of a kingdom but we are but we are praying for, to a king who will grant us what we need and ask for that security in our lives. So I hope and prayer that he will give us that grace to put our trust in him. Amen. Let's pray. Father, thank you for for this opportunity that you've given us where we can honor you through our giving. Thank you, Lord God, as it says in your word that you will be the one who will sufficiently provide our needs. And you also remind us that not to be worried It is a promise. It is a... It's not just mere words, Lord, but it holds a strong faith in us. Understanding and knowing that we are worshiping a living God who loves us, who will take care of us, and who is always with us. Lord, bless the hands that help us to produce both, Lord. We acknowledge that you are the one who gave us the, the gift, the skills, and the talent. So, Lord, I pray that may you continue to give us the grace, Father, to put our trust in you and as we honor you for a giving. Bless every fighter and giver. This I ask in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. The search for the ways to give. If you have your Gcash app on your phone, pwede pa rin po natin gamitin yun. You, may, you, know, you can just uh, scan the QR code that be, that is being flashed on the screen right now. And uh, if you want to drop your tithes and offering, you may visit our center. It is open uh, every Saturday and Sunday. And you may drop it between the hours of 10 a.m. up to 3 p.m. And you can also do direct deposit. Just copy the back details that is being flashed on your screen. And also, if you want to uh, give to our uh, missions, uh, Every Nation Campus and Real Life Foundation, you may visit uh, the website victory.org.ph slash give. All right? For church, whether you give online or on-site, I believe that God will be truly blessed. God bless as you give tonight. Congratulations, you made it to the end of our annual week of prayer, fasting, and consecration. This week, you and every nation people all over the world started the year, just like we start every year, with our week of prayer, fasting, and consecration. Together, we picked up our cross, denied self, and followed the example of Jesus in prayer and fasting. We participated in early morning prayer meetings, midday prayer meetings, nighttime prayer meetings. We prayed in our churches, in our offices, campuses, homes, believing that God hears our prayers and that God will heal our families, our campuses, our cities, and our nations. Our 2022 theme was Abide, the power and beauty of God's Word. We learned that God's Word is like bread that sustains us, like a seed that gradually produces fruit like light that guides us, like a mirror that reveals our true self, like a hammer that breaks hard hearts, like a sword that discerns the intentions of the heart, and like a strong foundation that saves us during the storms of life. Available in 17 languages, our devotional material took us deep into the power and beauty of God's Word. Every Nation pastors and leaders from Singapore, the United States, Japan, South Africa, Australia, and the United Arab Emirates encouraged us through daily devotional videos as we fasted and prayed. Your pastors have always placed a high premium on the authority of the Bible, believing that all Scripture is God-breathed and is useful for instruction, 
for conviction, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that the people of God may be complete, fully equipped, ready for every good work. As we continue our Abide theme throughout 2022, I trust that you will look back on a fruitful year, on a year that you intentionally abided in Jesus and made room for His Word to abide in you. May the words of Jesus in Matthew 4.4 be in your heart and on your lips this year. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Yon, magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. Again, welcome to our midweek service. Um, kung hindi nyo po na rin na kami nasamahan during our annual prayer and fasting, our materials and our videos are still available in our Facebook page. Just follow our Facebook page, Victory Quezon Avenue. So yan po, you can join us our, our yung mga recorded videos po natin. No? It's never too late for us to consecrate ourselves. This year, because we believe that God has something great in store for each one of us. Amen, po ba? So, naniniwala po ako dito po sa uh, midweek service natin, no? Na uh, God has so many things in store for all of us here in our midweek service. I just want to honor first before we proceed with our message, our very own lead pastor of our midweek service, Pastor Jerome. Okay, as we all know, uh, siya po ang nagpapastor sa atin dito sa midweek service and. Right now, he is on a vacation po because one of his close friends will get married. So, yan po, no? he uh, asked me to uh, cover for him and preach on his behalf sa ating midweek service. I'm Pastor Ruel, by the way. I'm one of the pastors uh, in our weekend services, uh, particularly on a 5 p.m. So, yan po, we are in the second week of our series. Okay, uh, magandang gabi. Batiin ko lang po muna no? itong mga nandito sa ating chat box. No? Gandang gabi, Campus Director Doyle. Okay, Katie Young, magandang gabi po. Uh, Tita Des, magandang gabi. Tita Sylvia, good evening po. Ate Joy, magandang gabi. Vivi, okay. Ina, Ate Minda, welcome. Jel, uh, sorry, nakamute ako kanina, Jel. <laughs> Ayan, na-unmute ko na. <laughs> okay, uh, to those of us who are here, we hope that this message will be a blessing to all of us. Can we just bow our heads and pray as we proceed with our message? Lord, we commit to you, Lord God. Uh, the next uh, moments that we will be having with you. Lord, may this message, Lord God, permeate in our hearts that it will bring fruit and life, Lord God. Not only on a midweek, Lord God, but every day of our lives, Lord God. We will, we will, uh, people will notice the life that we are carrying with us, the life that you have given us, Lord God. Bless everyone tonight, O God. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. By the way, brothers and sisters, our text for tonight is uh, found in John chapter 5, verse 19 to 29. Okay, but for the sake of time, okay, we will just get some of the verses and uh, we will pound and exegete those verses. Okay, but if should you want to learn more about it, because yung gospel po, no, yung scripture po, is sobrang kapal po niyan, it will take us a lot of time. Okay, if we will talk, cover all the verses, okay, na pericopy, ng cover po nitong uh, topic natin for tonight. Yan. Ate Florence, magandang gabi. Kuya Nick, magandang gabi sa inyo, no? Okay, God gave us free will, no? As we talk about second, second week of our series, Abide. God gave us free will, right? Meron po tayong, binigyan tayo ng choice, right? May choice ka kung paano ka mabubuhay. And actually, every time someone will pass away, okay, you will see in their epitaph, okay, sa... Ano ba Tagalog epitaph? Yung, uh, yung lapida, okay? Makikita po natin sa lapida nila na uh, yung year na pinanganak and then yung year na kung, papa, kung na, ano ka, na, na nag-pass away ka, no? So, uh, but there's this one line between that day you were born and that day you pass away, okay? Yung dash po na yun, that describes how you live your life. Okay, paano ka na buhay? So, some people would say that we we had our this man 
uh, uh, live the full life. Okay, this person live the full life. Kasi this person is a person of adventure, but nobody really knows. Okay, ano ba yung full life na sinasabi? Kasi if you look at the comments of people, meron tayong kanya-kanyang sinasabi. How do how do you define people, a person who lived their life to the full? Okay. But us, as followers of God, as followers of Jesus, okay, we all know that God is not a boring God. Ayon ni Lord ng boring, hindi niya, hindi niya gusto maging boring yung buhay natin. So, people, they think na kapag pinili mo si Lord, ay boring na buhay ko, hindi na masaya. No, no, no. Actually, God is not a boring God. If you will look at scripture, God is a God of adventure, right? He never do the same thing twice. Okay, if you will look at Moses, when God commanded Moses, di ba, to, to strike the stone, so that the water will gush out, so that they will have uh, water to drink, di ba? Ginawa ni Moses. Second time, God commanded Moses not to strike the stone, but to speak to the stone. Pero hindi po ginawa ni Moses, strike pa rin niya, and then it cost him his ticket to the promised land. So another one, di ba, sa calling din ni Lord, iba-iba yan, no? God called Moses uh, through a burning bush, or si Samuel, God with a voice, okay, call, calling, and in terms of healing, di ba? When Jesus healed the sick, sometimes he spit, sometimes he touched, sometimes he just declared, sometimes he just uh, said to the person, okay, your son will live, okay? He will be well at this very moment. So, God is very, uh, a God of adventure. Iba-iba po yung ginagawa ni Lord. Okay? Nobody wants uh, to live a boring life. Wala pong may gustong mabuhay ng boring. And as we abide in God, I'm declaring to everyone today that you are yet to discover the adventures that God has in store for you. God has something great in store for you. Naniniwala po ako, some of you, you are yet to receive that, that life of adventure. This year will be the year for you. That's why we have this series, Abide. As we abide in God, okay, we will yet we are going to experience great things in God. So how God called the disciples, diba? God called the disciples while they were, some of them were fishing, some of them tax collector, okay? And people, before Jesus Christ came, no? People just heard stories about God, okay? Kaya po yung tingin nila when it comes to scripture, it's about the law, okay? About sa mga, mga commandments ni Lord. And the Jews witnessed Jesus firsthand, okay? When they heard Okay, about the doings of Christ. Actually, yung verse po na babasahin natin, it's in John chapter 5. Before this verse, uh, before verse 19, meron pong pinagaling si Lord, okay, in the, in Bethesda, where, din, where there were a lot of invalids, okay, and there this one person, particularly, 38 years siyang invalid, never heard of God, never heard the voice of God, and he had an encounter with Jesus, okay? He, then the Jews witnessed the, the miracle. Kaya lang po, ito po yung problema. Pinagaling po ni Jesus yung invalid na yun, 36, uh, on a Sabbath. Nagpagaling po si Jesus during Sabbath. So, big deal po to sa mga Jews, di ba? Bakit naman, Pastor? Eh, Sabbath. Sabbath yan, pahinga, di ba? Iba nga, Sabbath, sobrang sacred, no? Remember, the Jews are about the commandments of God. Kapag may ganun sila, it's about the do's and don'ts. Okay, that's why when Jesus did something wrong, uh, some, something on a Sabbath, nagpagaling siya, they questioned Him. Okay? And then Jesus explained it to them in verse 19. Basahin po natin, no? John chapter 5, verse 19. By the way, the topic for tonight is about the, the word that brings life, no? So verse 19. So Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, the Son can can do nothing of his own accord, but only what he sees the Father doing. For whatever the Father does, the Son does likewise. So, ang problema po, pareho, na, pareho naman po si Jesus at si God the Father ng heart. Okay? With the commandments and how Jesus uh, executed the healing. But, it's the mindsets of the Jews. They were misaligned in terms of the law in terms of the fulfillment of the law which is Jesus no the Jews very religious about about the law no hindi about sila dun sa mga natuduma feeling la boring they have the wrong lens of focus actually about the law about God's law it's not meant to kill your life your joy the law is meant to protect you right 
Okay? Parang ganito po yan. Kapag ka nasa stoplight ka, di ba? Pag red light, some of us may think red lights are will delay us, di ba? Bibigyan ka ng delay niyan. Kasi titigil ka eh. But actually, it's there to protect us. Some of you are in a rush. Some of them, some of the people are beating the red light. They end up crashing. Okay? They end up getting hurt. Okay? So, the law or yung red light, it gives us order. So, meaning the law, it's not meant to kill your life. It's not meant to kill your joy. Sabbath is not meant for resting and law. Okay? But for the way for us to abide more with God and enjoy Him as we pause our, our day. So, the doings of God, that's my first point, the doings of God brings life. Okay? Lahat po ng ginagawa ni Lord sa atin, whether you understand it or not today, parang feeling mo, Lord, talaga ba doings mo to? Magkasakit ako. Doings mo ba to, Lord, na magkahiwalay kami ng family mo? We may not understand it at the present, but we are in faith that He's doing will bring life in us. Okay? It's not meant to kill our joy, but to protect it. When we read the God's word and we abide, okay, we will live by it. Okay? Yung invalid po, before this verse na binasa natin, 38 years. Wala siyang buhay. Nandun lang siya. Hindi siya makagalaw. Hindi siya makapunta sa synagogue just to hear about God. But Jesus Christ came to him. Some of you, you're here, you're listening to this message. Jesus wants to come in your life. Jesus wants to bring life in you. Okay? Kung before, inaabangan mo birthday mo, tsaka yung Pasko, okay? Tsaka Holy Week, tsaka yung vacation leaves mo. Now, because Jesus is coming in your life, you will live a life of adventure. Madami ka nang aabangan. Hindi lang yung birthday ng aso mo yung aabangan mo. Okay? You will live the time of your life. Okay? Especially, pag connected ka sa church, sa church ni Lord, sa kingdom ni Lord. Okay? We have a lot of activities. Alam po natin yan, no? yung mga pre-pandemic, ang dami nating events, di ba? Nagkikita kita tayo, nagko-costume party tayo, di ba? Nag nagkakaroon tayo ng mga activities where we have our memories together. Namimiss ko na po yun, no? Namimiss na po namin yan, no? Looking forward po, mag 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 mangyayari na magagawa na po natin ulit yan as we uh, get better with this pandemic, no? So, some people are chasing the life, quote-unquote. Okay, they're chasing the life. Maybe people are, uh, they thought of different solution on how they will live their life to the fullest. Some people will think money can bring them the life that they're looking for. Okay? Some of the people, they're looking for a relationship, di ba? Pagka nagkaroon ako ng family, okay, I will live the life. I will have the full life. Some of us, we think, kapag ka na-achieve ko na to, okay, pag naikot ka na yung buong mundo, kapag ka nakuha ko na tong, tong position na to, okay, naging CEO na ako, okay, I will live the life. Okay? Actually, if you remove God out of the picture, it will create misery in us. Nothing wrong with money if you want to earn just to make your lives better. But if you take out of the God out of the picture, there will be the tendency to mislead you with your money. You to be misled with your money. Instead of you using your money to honor God, okay, it will give you bigger problems. Okay? Papaparaning ka na kasi dami mo ng pera eh. Di ka na makatulog. Baka mamaya bigla may pumasok sa bahay niyo. It will create other things that will give you stress. Relationships, okay? Hindi naman laging walk in the park eh. Na feeling mo kapag ka kapag ka nag ano ka na nagkaroon ka ng relationship, ah okay, you bring life to me. Nagkaroon ng kulay yung buhay ko, meron na akong kasama mag-date. 'Di ba? Pag lumabas ako, hindi lang ako pupunta sa 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 Watsons para bumili ng sabon. Ngayon, pupunta na ako Watsons kasi meron na akong ka-date. Watsons nag-date eh. <laughs> so Hindi lang naman ganun eh, but there will be times that you'll get mad with each other. So if God is not in the picture of your relationship, it will create rage, anger, lust, di ba? Madami. So achievements, okay? Bibilan ng pabango, di ba? Bibilan ng pabango kasi may girlfriend na may boyfriend na. Okay, achievements. Kapag ka na, karoon ka ng achievement, okay? God is not in the picture, it will create pride in you. And you will veer away from God. Okay? Some of the people we know now, di ba? Meron pa silang hashtag, live in the life. Okay? Live in the life. Pero pag dinig mo yung bank account niya, dami utang. Okay? God doesn't want us to live like this. He wants us to live life to the full. Okay? Let's continue on in verse 20. For the Father loves the Son 
and shows him all that he himself is doing and greater works than these will he show him so that you may marvel. Okay, I want to highlight the word marvel. Hindi po to dahil may no way home ngayon. Okay, ang daming maganda pala ba si Marvel. But the word marvel means something that causes wonder or admiration or astonishment. A wonderful thing, a wonder or prodigy. Yun po yung definition niya. No? So meaning, when you are marveling at something, you are in awe. You are in admiration. Wow! So if you are with God and you're abiding in Him, you may marvel at the things that He's about to do in your life. Mark Twain, one of the authors, said that two important days in our lives. First is the day we were born. And second, the day we found out why. How do you live your life today? All those things, money, relationship, achievements, nothing wrong with that. But those are momentary. It can suck the life out of you if you put your life into those things alone. Okay? Actually, the Bible used three Greek words about life. Okay? Number one, it's uh, bios, physical life. That mean, means physical life. Suche, it's a soul life. Hindi po natin yan. Third is Zoe. It's the life after here. After uh, the life that we have here. Life in abundance in eternity with God. But, so, San po ginamit yan? In Luke chapter 8, verse 14, sabi po dito, no? uh, and, and that which fell into thorns, okay, yung parable of the seeds, uh, uh, parable of the sower, these are those who heard and going away are utterly choked by anxieties and riches and pleasures of this life, bios, yun po yung sinabi, physical life, and do not bring any fruit to maturity. Okay? So, bios, physical life. But, Ito po yung maganda, no? Si Apostle John, he did not use the word bios. He used the word zoe. Even if we are still in our physical form. Even if we're not yet in eternity. That's why it says in John chapter 10, verse 10, The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. But I came that they may have life. Not bios, but zoe. Life in abundance, Okay? Not in eternity alone, but while we are here, we can have Zoe. So some of you, you're chasing the dream, you're chasing the life. The life that you're looking for is in Christ. The life that we're looking for is in Christ. Okay? How can I say this? Because the opposite of life is death. And sin brings death, false life. When Jesus Christ came, He paid the penalty of sin so we may have life because He knew from the beginning sin will bring us death. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. Eternal life. Life to the full. Zoe. So, praktikalan lang po, no? Paano natin makikita na yung sin nagbibring ng kamatayan sa atin, nagdadala ng kamatayan, yung mga sinasabi nilang collect and collect then select. Deads ka doon, kapatid. Hindi biblical yun. Makongolekta ka muna, tapos kapag ano, pipiliin mo na lang, deads ka doon. Okay? Hindi yun yung way ni Lord para magkaroon ka ng partner mo. Yung iba, cheat and get away with it. Okay siya, okay. Nag-cheat ka. Paano pag nahuli ka? Eh di kulong ka. Where's the life? Worst, you may lose your loved ones. What else? If you dishonor your body, God commanded us to honor our body. Do not, uh, do not be drunkard, di ba? Wag kang magbibisyo. Okay? If you're not honoring your body, deads ka dun. Imagine mo, wasak yung atay mo. Dami mong lagi kang laseng. Lagi kang naninigarilyo, may bisyo ka. Okay? Lagi kang na, nagkakasino or uh, lagi kang puyat, kakatiktok. I'm not excusing that. Anong oras ka na natutulog? O kaya, ang dami mo kinakaing taba. Okay? It's not... Kung hindi mo inaangatan yung, iniingatan yung katawan mo, deads ka dun. Okay? Actually, may tinatawag nga na sin dyan. Pag sa food, diba? Gluten eh. Okay? Yung principle ng mga relationship ngayon, diba? O, meet muna tayo, tapos live in muna, tapos saka tayo kakasal. You know what? If you do that, in not, not in the order of the Bible, nakasal muna, tapos sex, and then live together, live in ka muna, you will end up more lonely. Why? 
paano kapag ka naging kayo na? Paano kapag live-in na kinasal na kayo? Prapraning ka kasi feeling mo baka gawin din ng asawa mo sa iyo yun. There's no trust. The level of trust is low. So, it can suck the life out of you. That's why Jesus doesn't want us to live like this. He wants us to live the life that He has for all of us. Okay? So, kung, kung nandito ka ngayon, you're thinking that you're living the life apart from Christ at feeling mo okay ka, you are yet to discover. You are yet to the adventure that God has for you, the plans of God that He has for you is yet to come. Okay? You're barely scratching the surface. Let's continue in verse 24. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life. He who does not come, he does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. Now, mga kapatid, meron po kasing ganitong mga, we live in a Christian nation. Okay, may mga ganito pong mindset yung mga tao no, na, yes, I believe in Jesus. Okay, I believe in him. But how will, do you really believe? the words of Jesus. Okay? If you obey His word, if you hear His word and believe in Him by obeying, it means that you really believe in it. Paano ko nasabi? Pag sinabi sa'yo, nung, pag sinabi sa'yo na mainit yung kawali, tapos sinawakan mo, naniwala ka ba dun sa nagsabi sa'yo na mainit yung kawali? No, right? Kasi tinray mo pa rin eh. Sinabi na nga mainit na eh. Nawakan mo pa rin. You don't believe. So, same goes with God's word. When we hear His word and we don't obey it, we don't believe in it. That's why if you believe it, you obey it. We are doers of God's word. If you really believe, then this is the promise. Life in eternity beholds the one who believes in His word. The one who believes in His word, you're going to experience life in eternity while even you're still here. Amen? So, as we end, in John chapter 5, verse 22, some of you, you might be thinking, Lord, dami ko ng mistakes, dami ko ng pagkakamali, narinig ko na tong message na to, Lord, can I have another chance? Can I still have that life? that you have for me. You know, brothers and sisters, the moment you receive Jesus, even if you are yet to overcome the sin that, you're, that you have with you, even if you're still struggling to get out of your sins, even if you're still experiencing the consequences, some of the consequences of your sin, in verse 22 of chapter 5, John chapter 5, it says here, For the Father judges no one. But He has given all judgment to the Son. So mga kapatid, whether you like it or not, because you receive Jesus, His judgment doesn't fall on you anymore. It was given to Jesus. Jesus claimed it on your behalf. The judgment, Jesus received it on your behalf. And He purchased every sin, past, present, and future. That's why we can be confident when we come to God, when we approach Him, we are guiltless, cleansed, sanctified, purified by the blood of Jesus because of what Christ has done. The judgment doesn't belong to us anymore. It falls on Jesus. And the good thing about our God, Jesus, He was victorious. He was victorious he came from death to life so we can be live we can live as well in victory over our struggles and sins we can have that life so whatever you're believing god for today and your struggles you know you don't have to fight this battle by yourself you don't have to to victoriously overcome your issues of life. You don't have to fight this battle alone. Give it to Christ. Receive the finished work of Jesus and let Him do His work in your life.
Abiding in God doesn't mean that you will live in perfect harmony. Abiding in God means that you're trusting Him. He's the one who gave us the life that we're looking for. Therefore, He will bring us to that, to that moment that we will be with Him for the rest in eternity. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for this evening, God. Thank you, God, for we are all work in progress, Panginoon. Lord, some of us, Lord, they might, January pa lang, Lord, feeling nila depleted na sila, Lord. Some of them, some of my brothers and sisters, Lord, simula pa lang, or parang walang nagbago sa 2021 to 2022. I pray, Lord, that you break their mindset about about life. Reveal, Lord, the truth of sin, the truth of your grace, truth of the plans that you have for, for them, Panginoon. I want to give us a moment just to talk to God and receive the life, the fresh breath of God to the area that you're struggling with. Bring it to light that God may bring life in you. What are the areas you're struggling with? Is it your finances? You're having a hard time honoring God? Is it your relationship? You're having a hard time honoring God? God is really telling you to let go and trust Him with your relationship. It's not going to be easy, but I believe grace of God will be upon you because He's going to breathe life in you. Is it your family? Having a hard time loving them because of the pandemic. Feeling man di ka nila naiintindihan. Don't have to please them. Let God fix it. Give it to God. Submit it all to God. God is willing to give life through His Word. Lord, I pray that you will grow our faith. Lord, grow our passion to read your Word. Your Word that brings life in us. Lord, give us, Holy Spirit, passion, Lord, to know you. Passion to abide in you. Apart from you, O God, we cannot do any single thing, any single good thing. That's why, Lord, today, we repent, Lord God, of the unbelief. Sometimes, Lord, it's not really the external that kills life in us. It's really us, O God, because of our desires, Lord, selfish desires. But, Lord, today, we choose to receive your life. Thank you, God, for you're not only a God of second chances, you're a God of third, fourth, fifth, countless number of chances because you are the author of life. You want to live us a life that is full, full of your presence, full of abundance that's not measured by money or resources, but abundance in emotion, abundance in relationships, abundance in our faith, abundance in grace, Lord, and forgiveness. Abundance in all aspects, Lord God. So, Father, today, let our security be found in your word. Thank you, Lord, for not only that you will give us life, you are a generous God. You do not withhold a single blessing to us, but we're in faith. We will receive it in your perfect time that will add life in us, O oh God. Physical or spiritual, or whichever we're believing you for. 
So Lord, we lift up to you every family represented here, O oh God. Breathe life, Lord God, in us. Lord, today, we commit to you our lives. Take charge, O oh God. As we end, I want to ask everyone, if you're not yet part of a victory group, God's community, I'm not promising that it will be smooth, walang offense, there will be offenses, there will be issues, but there will be life. There will be adventure together with the people called out by God. Could you please message this page or message the one who tags you, who tagged you here or some of our victory group leaders who are here. You can, you can type connect and one of our victory group leaders may connect, will be in touch with you. For the rest of us, I'm in faith that more life in abundance will come to all of us. Receive the Lord's blessing as we end. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you. The Lord may His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. As we live for Christ, we will live a victorious life. This we claim in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless everyone. See you all again next Wednesday. Let's live a victorious life in Christ.